hello everyone so in the last video we have seen um what is actually basically depend basically a dependency and how we can uh, add the dependency to our project and build it okay so uh, it, <clears throat> our purpose is now to bring our code to the next level like we have we are going to add a repository layer where we are going to write the code that is related to database or database connection or database handling so to do that to to make my application able to handle database related things so to make my application uh, to contain a database related code um, i need uh, some dependencies to be added so i have separately stored the dependencies in a notepad i will copy from there and paste but um, for the, because initially i don't want you to get into so much deep things so basically i will just paste them and i will give these dependencies in my description so that you also can copy and paste simply but uh, with time i hope you will be able to catch up what are the for your purposes what are the dependencies you have to add and how you are going to handle it. for example i will show you or oh, see i am having this particular dependency here mysql connector that i showed you in the previous video that is related to the spring uh, what do you call in the spring initializer that is related to uh, mysql right so that dependency is in my local i mean in my notepad so i can show you if you want so i can go for mysql and you will see a mysql connector right this dependency is there so this i have in my notepad so this is that dependency only dependency only i will add my to my uh, intellij right pom file and um, this there is something called uh, star, spring boot starter data jpa so i'm using another dependency called uh, let me see i can find the name correctly <clears throat> okay maybe i'll type jpa see spring data jpa this is related for mysql so if you click that and if you explore the form file you oh, sorry my bad again so if you maven okay i will do it again jpa okay so explore okay if you add that particular data particular dependency and if you go inside your dependencies and you will see spring boot starter data jpa related dependencies there so so that that thing also in my notepad right and along with that there are some other dependencies that is actually needed for my uh, purpose database purpose so i am going to like uh, simply add these dependencies in my form file basically okay so i'll give you the data so all i want to know is so so that you can uh, i mean i will give you the data in my description so that you can copy it and use but all i want you to know is you should know what you are doing okay so that's why i was explaining all these things so what i will do is i will go to my application and i will add this dependency somewhere inside these dependencies you get it right there are two dependencies available already here one and two and i will add my ones in the middle okay so i have pasted them now okay so some dependency related to h2 database and hibernate related dependency and mysql connector and uh, spring boot data jpa dependencies are there why each and every dependency is needed and for for our purpose and uh, what is the purpose of each and every dependency we are not going to get into that now because um, now we will try to add this database layer repository layer and we will see how the system is going to work so the purpose of the dependency is why what each and every dependency works you can search for yourself or we will if time permits we will see later in this series okay so since i have added the dependencies all i have to do is i have to do a small build so that the the contents or the libraries or whatever related to the dependencies can be downloaded or can be taken inside okay <clears throat> So I will simply do a Maven build. You can search for yourself what happens when you are doing a Maven build. Internally, what happens, you can look for that by inter in the internet. But I don't want to say everything because if I say everything, it will contain a lot of things. So build is success. That means whatever the dependencies are meant to be done has been done. Or in other words, um, uh, the related contents to the dependencies have been downloaded now by building the application. Actually, that is the purpose of adding the dependency. Writing these two lines is not only going to help. Using these two lines, when we are building the application, the application is going to download few things, respective things for each and every dependency. That is what matters. 
okay so let's not get much into this we just have added dependencies in the pom file which is needed for database connectivity or which and also which is needed to write code related to database connection or database handling or whatever okay so in the form file and we have built the application as well we are good so now what we have to do is uh, okay we have a local database now we are we are able to connect to the database now but still we need to provide some settings to my application so that it can go through go, go and reach our database without an issue for example if i am running this application in my local i mean in my laptop i'm going to connect the application to my laptop um my database 